Welcome to Arsenal Studios. This is Learning English with Movies. In this video, we'll be exploring one of the most fascinating and iconic Marvel characters, Daredevil. We will also practice using auxiliary verbs. If you are new here, the goal of this channel is to help intermediate English language students practice and improve their English skills by using movies as the main topic. If you like our content, Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Daredevil is a 2003 superhero film directed by Mark Steven Johnson, starring Ben Affleck in the lead role. The movie is based on the Marvel Comics character and tells the story of a blind lawyer, Matt Murdock, who fights crime as the vigilante Daredevil in the Hell's Kitchen neighborhood of New York City. A daredevil is a reckless person who engages in dangerous or risky activities, often for the thrill of it. The movie opens with a young Matt Murdock being blinded by a toxic waste accident. While saving a man from being hit by a truck, blinded is the state of not being able to see, often referring to the loss of sight in one or both eyes. As a result of the accident, Murdock's remaining senses become hyperactive, allowing him to perceive the world in a unique way. The accident also leads to the death of his father, a boxer, who had refused to throw a fight, leading to his murder by the local mob. To throw a fight means to intentionally lose a boxing or other combat sports match for personal gain, or to satisfy someone else's agenda. These events shape Murdoch's character, motivating him to become a lawyer and a vigilante to fight crime in his neighborhood. A vigilante is a person who takes the law into their own hands and acts as a self-appointed enforcer of justice, often motivated by a sense of moral righteousness. The movie introduces us to Murdoch's alter ego, Daredevil, who is a skilled fighter with heightened senses and acrobatic abilities. Alter ego is a secondary personality or identity that a person assumes, often as a disguise or for other reasons. He uses his powers to fight crime and takes on the powerful and corrupt kingpin, played by Michael Clark Duncan, who controls the criminal underworld in the city. A kingpin is a powerful, influential person who controls a particular organization or activity, often used to describe a crime boss. Underworld means the world of organized crime and illegal activity, often associated with hidden or secretive elements of society. The movie also introduces us to Electra Nachios, played by Jennifer Garner who is a wealthy heiress and skilled fighter. Garner would reprise her role in the 2005 spin-off film, Elektra. In Daredevil, Elektra's father is killed by Bullseye, played by Colin Farrell, a ruthless assassin hired by the Kingpin to eliminate her father. Ruthless means showing no mercy or compassion, cruel and without scruples. The movie's plot revolves around Daredevil's pursuit of Bullseye and the Kingpin, with Elektra also seeking revenge for her father's death. Bullseye is a term used to describe an extremely accurate or precise aim, often used to refer to skilled marksmanship. The movie also explores the relationship between Murdoch and Elektra, which is complicated by their shared desire for justice and their differing approaches to achieving it. Differing means to be unlike or dissimilar to something else, often in terms of opinion or beliefs. One of the most notable aspects of Daredevil is its dark and gritty tone, which sets it apart from other superhero movies of its time. Gritty means having a rough, tough, and uncompromising character or nature. The movie deals with themes of revenge, justice, and morality, and does not shy away from showing the violence and brutality of the world in which its characters operate. To shy away means to avoid or hesitate in the face of danger, difficulty, or confrontation. This approach was not universally well received, with some critics and audiences finding the movie overly grim and depressing. Grim means having a depressing or gloomy character or atmosphere. Despite its flaws, Daredevil remains a cult favorite among superhero movie fans and has had a considerable influence on the genre. The Netflix series Daredevil premiered in 2015 and ran for three seasons. The show explores the complex motivations and personal struggles of its main characters, particularly Matt Murdock, slash Daredevil, played by Charlie Cox. The show's depiction of Murdock as a flawed and conflicted hero adds depth and nuance to the character, making him more relatable to audiences.
Nuance means a subtle or delicate difference in meaning, expression, or sound. The show also introduces a number of memorable supporting characters, including Foggy Nelson, Murdoch's law partner and best friend, and Karen Page, a journalist and love interest. These characters are given ample screen time in their own storylines, which helps to flesh out the world of the show and add depth to the overarching narrative. Ample means sufficient or plentiful in quantity, often used to describe an abundance of something. To flesh out means to add details or information to something to make it more complete or thorough. The show's choreography and cinematography are top-notch, with long takes and dynamic camera work that give the fights a sense of fluidity and realism. Top-notch means of the highest quality or standard, excellent. The show deals with themes of revenge, justice, and morality, and the consequences of the characters' actions are often explored in depth. This adds weight and realism to the show's plot and makes it stand out in a crowded genre. To stand out means to be distinctive, noticeable, or exceptional compared to others. Cox's nuanced portrayal of the character captures both the physical and emotional aspects of the role, making him one of the most compelling heroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Compelling means evoking interest, attention, or admiration, having a powerful or irresistible effect. Other notable performances include Vincent D'Onofrio as Wilson Fisk slash Kingpin, a complex and intimidating villain, and John Bernthal as Frank Castle, aka The Punisher, a brutal anti-hero with his own moral code. An anti-hero is a central character in a work of fiction, who lacks traditional heroic qualities and may even display villainous traits, but is still the protagonist of the story. Despite its cancellation after three seasons, Daredevil remains a fan favorite and a must-watch for fans of the genre. However, the return of actor Charlie Cox as Daredevil has been a highly anticipated event for Marvel fans. After making a brief appearance in Spider-Man, No Way Home where he helped clear Peter Parker's name, Fans were excited to see Cox return to his iconic role. Cox donned the Daredevil suit once again in the final episodes of She-Hulk, Attorney at Law on Disney+. Don means to put on or dress oneself in a particular article of clothing or costume, often used in reference to assuming a particular identity or persona. Daredevil Born Again is an upcoming American television series that is highly anticipated by Marvel fans. The series will also mark the return of Charlie Cox in his iconic role as Matt Murdock Daredevil, with Vincent D'Onofrio and John Bernthal also starring. The series is set to premiere on Disney Plus in early 2024 and will consist of 18 episodes for its first season. Fans are eagerly looking forward to seeing their favorite characters return to the screen in this highly anticipated addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before we continue, I would like to invite you to check out our online course at Thinkific. The Learning English with Movies course was designed for intermediate English language students who love movies and filmmaking. You can practice your English reading and listening skills, learn new key vocabulary and grammar, and confirm your comprehension with fun quizzes. The Learning English with Movies Kindle book is also available from Amazon. For more information as well as fun and useful tips and recommendations, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Now, let's practice some useful grammar structures. Auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are helping verbs that are used to complement the main verb in a sentence. They are used to convey various shades of meaning such as agreement, disagreement, doubt, certainty, and so on. Here are some examples of how to use auxiliary verbs. Either. Either is used to indicate a choice between two options. It is often used with or to create a construction such as either or. Example. Either we stop Kingpin, or he destroys our city. In Daredevil, the protagonist, Matt Murdock, faces a choice between giving up his alter ego as Daredevil or continuing to fight against the corrupt kingpin. He says, either I stay in the shadows or step into the light. Neither. Neither is used to indicate the negation of two options. Example. Neither of us has superpowers. In Daredevil, the villain Bullseye boasts about is superhuman abilities, to which the protagonist responds, neither do I. 
So do I. So do I is used to indicate agreement with a previous statement. Example, I love superhero movies. So do I. In Daredevil, when his love interest Elektra says that she hates to be weak, Matt responds, so do I. I hope so. I hope so is used to express the speaker's desire or wish for a particular outcome. In Daredevil, Matt's partner, Foggy, expresses his hope that they will win their case against Kingpin. Matt responds, I hope so too. Auxiliary verbs are useful tools for expressing shades of meaning and indicating agreement or disagreement with statements made by others. They can help to clarify the speaker's intentions and make communication more effective. Thanks for watching. Have you seen the movie Daredevil? What do you think of the Daredevil TV series? Are you looking forward to the new Daredevil Disney Plus show? Write down your thoughts in the comments below.